Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> One concern I've got is that there's no structure, so I want to be able to go in and first put a routine in this household from the time the kids wake up to the time they go to bed. Deborah, you come over here because you're going to do the writing. He's better off doing the writing. <laughs> Deb obviously had issues with me creating a new routine for her family because she fought me on every detail. Joe's sleeping. Yeah. What's the big deal about the kids being still in bed? What's the thing? Well, there? they stay asleep. Nobody gets up then until quarter to nine, is that right? 8.45? Nine o'clock. Right, that's too late. That's too late. Really? Yeah, it's too late because you want Josh to be able to have a good morning where he's stimulated, he's got play. We want to fit in the snack time, we want to fit in the lunch. See, I really want to cut out snack altogether. Why? I don't think it's healthy for the kids to have snack. They need snack, otherwise their blood sugar so. levels drop. If I give them breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they have their snack exactly after their meal, it lets them sit down and eat their meal properly versus they're grazing all day. I plan on making changes, but I never saw myself making excuses. I really didn't. The girls can sit down and have breakfast by themselves. Yes, but I'm okay. not going to cook it twice. Why? Why should I have to cook breakfast twice? Why do you cook breakfast all the time? So that I have to cook lunch twice, dinner twice, everything twice? Uh, why, why do you feel like you need to do even a cooked breakfast? How are just cereals? Do? And fruit. Because they don't settle for cereal. They want the waffles, the pancakes, the... Only if you run in Deborah's cafe in the morning. <laughs> Arguing over every point, finding an excuse for everything. I don't it's want them to go to school and say and that I didn't feed elsewhere. them breakfast. I gave them a bunch of Will you of stop fruit? worrying about the rest of America and concentrate on your family? Stop arguing. This is so immature. <laughs> Let's focus on what we're here to do. It's going to be difficult for me to help Deb if she's not willing to receive my help. So we've got Josh having that nap, and then at 2.30, pick kids up from school. Snack. Oh, Another cool. snack? Correct. They would You're have kidding only had me, one. Right? They would have only had one. Right. Snack again. <laughs> oh, my God. There's always been a routine in my head of what, what I have to get done during the day. I, I just may have not have let the kids know what that is. 8 o'clock, shower. The girls. 8 o'clock, shower, and 8.30 bedtime. I like that. Kids are in bed. Hey, just do what you want. Oh, Mom. I don't think the issue is snacks, cooking, or getting up early. I think it's Deb not wanting to take direction. She's still fighting on every level. Even Dad's noticed. Yeah. All right, let's have that up. <laughs> this is panic for you. Yes. <laughs> because they're, like, all over. I don't even know where Becca went. There is no control whatsoever. Stop that. Get in that bed now.